Yo, what is going on guys, Ankuch here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the first cursed exotic hand cannon that you get from a rank 5 gunsmith quest. Now, I personally am not rank 5 and I'm nowhere close to getting this weapon, but I did use my buddy's account, his name is Precise, so big shout out to you man, thank you for letting me review this weapon. Now, the best thing you can use in the first column is soft ballistics. Because it just gives you more range without, you know, losing any other stats. It has triple tap, rapidly landing precision hits, will return one to the magazine. A decent perk, but really doesn't have too much of a place with this weapon. The speed reload, agility, and quick draw in the middle. I go for uh, speed reload just because it reloads a little bit slow. And then the first curse, precision kills while aiming down the sights, greatly increases stability and range. So... A pretty good perk, but I mean, once you reload your magazine, that buff is gone, and with it only having 8 bullets in the magazine, you're not going to end up utilizing that perk too often. So let's jump into some positives about this weapon. Well, the first thing I noticed when I started using this weapon is how hard it actually hits. It usually crits at 95, which is a solid number, reminds me a lot of the Hawkmoon, but this time around, it doesn't matter if you land a lucky bullet in the chamber, every single one of your shots does a ton of damage if you crit. So much that you can actually reliably two-shot hunters in the head and some warlocks. Now, it doesn't work on titans because they have a ton of armor but on hunters nine times out of ten you're going to two shot them which i thought was pretty damn awesome like which weapons or which hand cannons at least can two shot enemies um pretty you know pretty consistently in the crucible and i couldn't really think of any other than the hawkmoon and the hawkmoon relies a lot on luck so that's one thing i did definitely like about this weapon jumping into aesthetics though you know i'm i'm really disappointed that bungie couldn't have made this weapon a little bit more different i mean it looks exactly the same as a last word but just slapped on a different skin on it and that is definitely disappointing whenever i use this thing it just reminded me a lot of the last word and i kind of wanted to spam the trigger and get those fast kills but that was just not the case it shoots much much slower than that it almost feels like a legendary hand cannon doesn't feel a lot like the hawk moon doesn't feel like the last word it's in a very weird place to sum this weapon up it has a very low rate of fire um lower than the hawk moon probably has a very high impact around the same as the hawk moon has very poor stability and the range is very low i mean you can only use this thing in close range and i don't even want to push it and say you can use this in medium range because the damage drop off is just so noticeable and your bullets start going from 95 to the head to like 90 to 85 so quickly every time an enemy just takes a step back and that's one thing that this weapon really is not good at, and that's range. And I personally just don't see if if you're going to use an exotic weapon, an exotic hand cannon, why would you not just use the Hawkmoon instead of this thing? I mean, the Hawkmoon is literally identical to this thing, but the only difference is that it shoots a little bit quicker and the range and stability is much, much higher. So... Personally, I do not think it's worth the grind, but I'm still going to slowly but surely grind to get this weapon. Now, if you're one of those players that wants to collect every weapon in the game, um, I would say if you have time and you want to get it, go for it. It's not going to hurt you, but if you're somebody that just wants the best weapon, unfortunately, this is not one of those weapons. It is disappointing that, you know, this weapon was... A little bit hyped, I guess, because you needed to get to rank 5 Gunsmith, which took like 5 weeks. Then you had to do a ton of quest steps, and finally you get this thing, and it turns out to be a little bit lackluster. So, disappointing, but at the end of the day, that is the review, ladies and gents. Drop a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more daily Destiny content, and as always, and cool shout. Yeah. If I ever said I'm not